Does Xiaomi have another hit on its hands with this Android phone? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here, and this time I want to talk about cell phones. More specifically, I want to talk about Android phones from third-party companies. Not the big players like LG or Samsung or even Google, but the other companies that make Android phones. Specifically, this one is from a company called Xiaomi. Now, I gotta say, people around the world love this company. And I've gotten other devices from Xiaomi and they've been really great. And this one, this is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X Fablet. I'm never gonna use that word again in this review, can't stand it. Cell phone, Android cell phone, and it's fantastic. And particularly for the price, it's really a pretty sweet phone. But let me tell you what's going on here. So we got a 5.5 inch screen, three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gig of storage. It's running Snapdragon 625, which is an octa-core at two gigahertz. So it's quite speedy. It's running Android 6.0 Marshmallow, so it's not on Nougat yet, but that's because not every phone is actually on Android 7 yet. So one assumes it will come out. But what's really interesting about this is Xiaomi actually runs its own UI on top of Android. So here's a screenshot, but you can see this is what they call um, their Mi UI. M-I-U-I, and it's just a layer on top of Android that actually makes it nicer. It comes with themes and color schemes, and it just makes the whole system just a little more elegant. Not that I have any issues with Android, but I really like what they're doing here. Now, the downside on that is that they can't quite track Android as updates happen, so they'll have to update the MIUI 2. Again, I assume Xiaomi's busy working on that right now as we watch this video. So, worth it for sure. It has a 13 megapixel rear camera and a very nice five megapixel front camera. Here's an example of the rear camera photo. And I'm gonna zoom way in and you'll see it does a really nice, subtle, elegant job and there's nice gradation in the color. There is nothing at all problematic about the way this thing works with camera and with photos. So that's good. Running the latest Bluetooth 4.2. Bluetooth 5 is coming. Just starting to see some Bluetooth 5.0 devices but not yet any Bluetooth 5.0 phones. Coming soon, what it will gain us presumably is more range and lower power. Until then, oh, so one of the other cool things about this is because this is an international edition of the phone, it supports dual SIMs. So you can actually have two different phone lines coming in. That's particularly useful for people that have a business phone and a personal phone. Wouldn't it be nicer to just have both of them hooked up into this single device? Yes, it would. Trust me on that. The battery, it's a 41 milliamp hour and it actually runs anywhere from one to two days on a charge, depending on how aggressive you are. It's about two and a half hours to actually get it fully charged from dead. So if you top it up for 30 minutes every so often during the day, you're probably good to go for a good long time and late into your crazy party evening. Very nice. Now, I said international support. This has two gig, or I'm sorry, 2G GSM and 3G and 4G support. You'll probably wanna double check on the site to make sure it supports your country and your carrier, but for the most part, you drop in a SIM and you're good to go. Now, one of the other things I really like about this Note 4X is it's a fully metal design. A lot of these less expensive Android phones tend to be plasticky, and this one definitely is not. It has a very nice feel to it, and the back, you can see, it's just slightly beveled, so the sort of in-hand experience is very nice. Now, what's interesting is on the side, it has volume up, down, and power, but on the back, it also has a fingerprint scanner. So I compare this to like the LG G6, where the fingerprint scanner is also the wake-up button. So it's kind of funny. I pick up this phone and push the button on the back, and nothing happens. So it's a little bit interesting that there's sort of this transitional technology, but it's very subtle. So when your phone's locked, you just touch the back and it's unlocked, nice and easy. Very elegant implementation of the fingerprint. 
Now, what else can I tell you about it? Built-in FM radio, like the vast majority of Android phones. Apple, tap, 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 are you paying attention? Why can't we have an FM chip or circuit in our iPhones? In fact, my suspicion is it's there. Apple's just never implemented it. I like being able to listen to FM radio occasionally. You know, just nice to have that built in. Now, what's more cool is that this also has a built-in infrared device. So it actually comes with a little remote control app and you can use this to control your television or control your stereo. It's kind of a neat bonus feature, not something you would expect to find in an Android phone. But this one has it and no special hardware needed anywhere else in your entertainment system. Very nice. So let's see. There's not much else I can tell you about it other than perhaps the most important thing which is the price. But before I get there, do me a huge favor and move your little finger and tap that little button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now, how much would you pay for this high powered 5.5 inch fully functional Android phone with a nice feel and a very nice camera? Well, probably a lot more than they're asking. They're, this phone you can pick up for $153.99 unlocked ready for you to drop whatever SIM you want into it. $153.99. Where you want to check it out is at gearbest.com and they're running promos all the time so if that's not the price they have right now wait a couple of days and go back. Their prices sort of vary a little bit but $153 bucks, even heck $159. Bucks. This is a pretty phenomenal phone and in fact when I'm done with this review I'm giving this to my teenage son because he wants an Android phone and this is a really nice alternative and and this is really kind of the cost of insurance for something like a Samsung Galaxy S8. And you know what? This stands up with the Galaxy as being just as elegant, just as nice, and just as functional. So, this is Dave Taylor. This is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X Android smartphone. And I say check it out at GearBest.com. And I'll catch you in my next video.